Hey guys, Mr. BXRP here and welcome back. It is April 28th of 2020 and I uh, haven't had a video for several days and I'm glad to be back. been very, very busy working on my business and my company. So I'm glad to be back and it's kind of a good day to be back actually. We've got some, some price action going on so let's jump right into it. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I want to talk about today. Um, so please stick around uh, till the end of the video if you can and if you haven't subscribed to my videos yet, please subscribe. Uh, that would be fantastic. All right, so um, Bitcoin is at 77.77 and Ethereum is at 196 and XRP is at uh, point 20, about 20 and a half cents um, and, and, and is up uh, about 5% over the 24 hour and about 11.6% on the seven day, which is pretty good. It's almost right in line with Bitcoin. So having a good day, XRP is um, kind of running on its own, it looks like. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's running pretty good. Tezos is running pretty good, um, but uh, but certainly a good start for the day, and uh, and interesting stuff. So I'm glad to see it. So uh, I do want to talk about today. I want to talk about Fiat Leak. I've got some really cool information on Fiat Leak, and I also have some what I think is new information on Ripple or something I've never seen before that I want to share with you folks. So let's dig right into it. First thing is. Dominic Skinner had posted this on Twitter. Can anyone tell me what's going on here with XRP on Fiat Leak? And what Dominic was referring to, and I'm going to jump to Fiat Leak, and looks like uh, XRP is at you know 0 0.206 cents. And what he was referring to is um, the speed, and I'm going to go to Bitcoin. I think it'll be a better example because there's more volume. See how these see how these coins are moving really really fast and some of them are moving really really slow and sometimes you'll see coins pass other coins uh, on the in the flows so he was trying to figure out what is going on with this whole thing and what's kind of neat is I've, I've developed somewhat of a relationship with um with fiat leak and they um they have had this question asked a bunch of times and what they asked me is they 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 sent me a direct message and said, hey, listen, you know, we've shared other information with you in the past. We're a fan of your channel. And uh, we just wanted to see if you might share this information with the community and explain to them, you know, how these flows work and what they mean. And I said, absolutely, 100 percent. So so that's kind of how this happened. Um, just, you know, so for full disclosure, they're not paying me to talk about their site. Um, I did once win a hat in one of their giveaways for full disclosure, but but just so you guys know, this isn't a paid endorsement. This is just to help better understand, and, and you can kind of see here, you can see how some coins are passing the other coins. So what is that? You know, there's a lot of thought that goes into Fiat Lake, a lot more than than I think most people imagine um, in what they're doing. So I made a bunch of notes on everything they told me, so I'm going to kind of read off a little bit on these notes because... Uh, because I want to be very specific. Um, okay, so the ex explanation given to me was a bit technical, okay? So because Google doesn't have a technical to easy to understand translate button that people, um, uh, the people at Fiat Leak trusted me to just do my best in explaining it based on the information that they gave me, all right? So, so here we go. Um, and I normally don't script out anything in my videos, but 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 just to be accurate, I'm going to be reading off my sheet here. So first of all, all trades on Fiat Leak, and I've said this before in my other videos, all trades on Fiat Leak are crypto, um, are fiat to crypto, or tether to crypto. That's it. Okay. So so it doesn't include any other stable coins, and it doesn't include crypto to crypto. It's fiat to crypto and tether to crypto. The purpose, their their purpose was to show. Um, the representation of fiat coming into the space or being traded in the space. All right, that was the purpose of it. So those trades are represented, the, the, the trades that are represented on the screen that you see here are the buy and sell orders reported by the exchanges they're plugged into. And there's also a menu to show buys only if you prefer. Now, for the record, they're plugged into 118 exchanges, okay? Um, and, and before you guys even ask, they're not plugged into SPI in Japan. SPI has not offered a plug-in um, to report um, for Fiat Leak or for really anybody. So, so nobody's getting that reporting out of Japan yet from, from SPI. So they're not plugged in, but they are plugged into 118 exchanges, which is pretty awesome. 
All right, so the, the people at Fiat Leak told me that in writing this algorithm for Fiat Leak, it was like writing music. It's not as simple as many would think, and it's um, but but the entire but all of these flows have a distinctive meaning. Okay, they consider the visual aesthetics of the site to be that of a symphony and imagine it displaying uh, to its original music, which is which is by the way whenever they post videos on Twitter uh, of Fiat Leak, the music in the video is composed by their team members that actually work at Fiat Leak. So just so you know, so so. How do the flows work and what are they depicting? So here we go. Um, think of the flight patterns, right? So, so the lines of, of the coins, think of those flight paths to countries like train tracks, okay? With multiple stories of tracks stacked on top of one another, all right? So kind of like how you might envision um, a ripple net, right? So, so those are train tracks going from USD to the United States and then there's multiple tracks for, for trades to flow on, okay? Each trade is shown as one coin, and you could think of each coin as a train moving toward its country destination, all right? So every coin is, is an individual trade. Small coins represent small trades, and big coins represent big trades, all right? So this is already clarifying a lot here. All of the trades, or train cars as we call them, right? So if each coin is a train car, all of the trades or train cars, which are depicted as coins, in any one second, um, and, and, and okay, so they do it, so, so everything is done per second, right? So all of the trade coins or cars that are depicted as coins in any one second are delivered on the same train and from the first to the last will arrive in their country of destination within 10 seconds all right so so let me go back on this one so each coin is a trade and they take all of the trades in one second and package it up as a train so to speak all right and from the time you see it come out of the fiat currency on the bottom it has 10 seconds to land in the country, and that's the length of that particular train. So that's all of the trades that took place in a one second time frame, all right? Um, which, which I'm gonna to continue to explain, okay? So these train cars accelerate when they depart, they travel at a constant speed, and then they slow down upon arrival to ease into their destination, okay? That's kind of how they wrote the algorithm. The longer the train is, the faster it has to move to ensure the last car arrives on schedule, which has to be within 10 seconds of departure. So, you know, you'll see some of them move very slowly and some of them will move very quickly. And that's just because the quicker ones are longer trains and there were more trades taking place in that one second interval. Hopefully that, that kind of drives it home for you. Okay, because the longer trains travel faster, and all the trains must arrive exactly 10 seconds from departure is the reason you see some coins race past others um, and that's because the volumes have increased okay so so that's okay so 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 let's go back the longer trains travel faster and all the trains must arrive exactly 10 seconds from departure all right so if there's a lot more volume that happens and the other train already left but there's been a lot more volume happen the second later or within the 10 seconds that that other train left you're going to see those other coins rush over those first ones okay um and let's see here what other point one okay so so when you see transactions from from fiat to south africa which is the lowest point on the screen moving incredibly slow the reason for that is it has to move slowly because it needs to take 10 seconds to get there, all right? So, so every train takes 10 seconds to get where it's going is the point. And if the volume increases after that first train left, you'll see them pass it up. Um, and then the larger coins are the larger transactions. The smaller coins are the smaller transactions. Uh, I hope... <laughs> 
I hope I have helped explain it. I, I, I feel like I maybe have, but I know it's, it's, it's a little bit, a little bit intricate. So there's a lot more thought and accuracy that goes into this site than I think most people would have thought. Um, and, and I hope that this helps you guys a little bit in, in my explanation. So I, I wish I'd done a better job actually, but, uh, I'm hoping that, that you feel like you understand Fiat leak a little bit better than before you started watching this. I think that would be great. So anyway, now I think you have a better understanding of that. And I'm going to jump over here, and you can let's just take a, let's take a look at the example. For those who are not <clears throat> driving, you can see how there's there's large coins here, and there's wow, just there's so much volume in, in BTC that it gets kind of crazy. But interesting stuff. Uh, so anyway, in my comment section, if you have any questions or want clarity or have any additional questions about Fiat Leak, put them in my comment section. I will answer as many as I can. And if I don't have the answers, I'll go to Fiat Leak and see if they can answer them for us. Um, but, but if you have more questions, that would be a great place to do it. All right. Bitcoin halving is coming up in 13 days and about seven hours. Uh, so it's on May 11th of 2020. So everybody keep an eye on that. Let's see right now, as, as I posted on Twitter this morning, it looks like uh, XRP is having what I call the tailgate party uh, before the Bitcoin party. So that is good news. <clears throat> Digital Asset Investor posted this on Twitter. He said, a lot of bad guys out there trying to scare people out of XRP, silliness and lies. Ripple didn't work for the past seven years to have their most valuable asset decrease in value. We are the most interested party in the success of the XRP ecosystem. And that's something that Ripple had said. Um, so I thought that was a great tweet and I had plugged in what I've been saying for years. I'm holding mine zero or hero. So that's my plan. I'm holding mine till the end. So it's either, either I'm not selling it and, and it's I'm here for the long term so I, I don't have a stop limit I'm holding my XRP till it goes somewhere to where it's uh, it becomes a life-changing event or it goes to zero that money is spent to me that investment is gone and uh, and I feel really good about it but that's just me you guys need to do what's best for you and, and I'm not suggesting anybody else do the same that's just my position my decision that's what I'm doing, okay? But you need to decide for yourself. Okay, so listen, I think this is new, and you guys can let me know if it's not, but I have never seen this on Ripple site before, and I gotta tell you, I've been crawling this site for years, and I know they recently changed it, um, but I have never seen a frequently asked questions page. So they now have one, and they've got some cool stuff here that I think, that I think you guys might wanna check out. Um, so they have Ripple, they have stuff about XRP token, they have stuff about tech, and the funny one is merchandising, right? I'm gonna go right to merchandising first. Uh, let's see here. Um, how can I get some Ripple swag? The answer is at this time we do not offer merchandise. So, which is funny because you know with the Litecoin summit not happening this year um, because of the current health event, I don't know how Litecoin is gonna keep up with their T-shirt sales. But uh, but anyway. Um, what is Ripple? What is the company's mission? So it has a statement here. Ripple is a technology is a tech technology company that provides the most efficient solutions to send money globally using the power of blockchain technology and it goes on what is RippleNet it explains what RippleNet is what is on-demand liquidity it explains that this is really really awesome so I would suggest that you guys take a look at this frequently asked questions especially for people that you get involved in XRP and and, and want to get interested in Ripple and what Ripple is doing how do I buy Ripple stock it says Ripple is not a publicly traded company However, I know that there are ways that people do buy Ripple stock, by the way. I don't have access to it. I don't have any links for you, but there are ways to buy it um, uh, off market. Um, but they are not a publicly company right now, so you can buy private stock out there. There are ways. I do know people that, owns it, that own it, but I do not. Um, and how do I get a job at Ripple? So they talk about that. So there's some really, really good stuff. And then it talks about the token, XRP token. What is XRP? How do I trade XRP? And XRP is an open source decentralized digital asset built for payments. So I thought this was great. Um, and, and this was kind of a neat one. Can you recommend a digital wallet? And I've always wondered, you know, like what would David Schwartz recommend for the best place to keep your XRP? I've never really asked him. I'd love to ask him that question. And, the, and Ripple says, Ripple does not endorse, recommend, or make any representation with respect to digital wallets. It's advisable to always conduct your own due diligence before trusting any third party. So I, I agree with that, but uh, it would have been neat to, um, to to get that answer. Should I participate in XRP giveaway? My God, um, any giveaway is not endorsed by directly affiliated. Um, 
maintained, authorized, or sponsored by Ripple, we encourage you to conduct your own due diligence. Yeah, there's no XRP giveaways, guys. They're all scams, and I think we've all learned that. So interesting stuff. Maybe check out uh, the Frequently Asked Questions page on the Ripple site. And I just go to resources, and it comes up under resources. There's some good stuff here. Share it with people that you want to get involved um, or that you think needs to learn more about Ripple or XRP, and I wanted to share that with you guys today. All right, last thing is I always like to leave you guys with something positive or something funny, and boy, did I think this was funny. So I'm going to play this for you. If you want to listen to it, listen to it. If you want to bail, it's a good time to bail, um, and uh, and I'm going to play it right now. It's two minutes. Enjoy it. I really don't understand why everybody isn't following the same rules right now. They're very clear, so let's take a minute and let's go over them again. First, you must not leave the house for any reason. Unless, of course, you have a reason, and then you may leave the house. All stores are closed except those that are open. And all stores must close unless, of course, they need to stay open. This virus is deadly, but don't be afraid of it. It can only kill people who are vulnerable and also those who are not vulnerable. We should stay locked down until the virus stops infecting people. And it will only stop infecting people if enough of us get infected that we build immunity. So it is very important that we get infected and also do not get infected. You should not go to the doctor's office or the hospital unless you have to go there. Unless, of course, you are too sick to go there. This virus has no effect on children except for those children in which it affects. The virus remains active on different surfaces for two hours or four hours or six hours, but in most cases it's days and not hours and it needs a damp environment or a cold environment that is warm and dry in the air, unless the air is plastic. Schools are closed, so you need to homeschool your children unless you can send them to school because you are not home. If you are at home, you can school your children using various portals and online classrooms unless you have poor internet, more than one child, only one computer, or you are working from home. Baking cakes can be considered math, science, or art. If you are home educating, you can include household chores within their education curriculum. And if you are home educating, you may start drinking at approximately 10 a.m. every day. If you are not home educating children, you may also start drinking at approximately 10 a.m. Masks are useless at protecting you against the virus, but you still need to wear one because it can save lives. And in some cases, it may even be mandatory, but also maybe not. You must not go to work but you can get another job at which point you may go to work. Stay home. I don't know how many more celebrities we need to have tell you how important it is to go outside and take care of your mental health. There is no shortage of groceries in the supermarket. There are simply many things missing. You don't need to go buy a bunch of toilet paper, but you should buy some in case you need it. If you are sick, you may go out once you are better, but those in your household, they cannot go out once you are better, unless, of course, they need to go out. Animals are not... You know, I think that sums up all the information we've heard. It's just none of it, none of it correlates, makes sense, and and we we've, we've heard it. It's it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Hey, before I go, I wanted to go back to Dominic Skinner. So so he was the one who originally posted the question for Fiat Leak about the speed of of the coins and how that works. Please follow Dominic Skinner on Twitter, and he also has a YouTube channel. So so I want to give him credit because it was a great question. And, uh, and please give him a follow and follow his, um, his YouTube. And I'm wrapping it up. So I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an accountant. I'm not an insurance agent. And I'm not a crypto expert. These are my opinions only. Don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say. This video is intended for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe. Hey, please subscribe. If you guys don't mind, please hit the sub button and hit the notifications button if you'd like to be notified when my next video comes available. And share my videos with anybody who you think might enjoy them. Everyone have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.